This prophetic encouragement was curated for October 8, 2024. I heard the Lord say, I am turning the bitter places to sweet by Lana Vosser published on October 8, 2024. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Isaiah 43, 19, 21, NKJV Recently, I had a dream and I heard the Lord speak in the dream, I am turning the bitter places to sweet. My people, I say unto you, I am bringing you into a new realm of experiencing, walking in and receiving my grace and my empowerment. I am dealing with those bitter places and the bitter places of the heart, and I am breathing my breath of life upon those places. My love and my breath is exposing areas of bitterness in the heart and I am drawing you, my people, into repentance for the alignment with the bitter places and the fostering of bitterness in the heart. I am bringing forth great freedom in this hour and I am speaking flourishing over your hearts in my name. As I leaned in and listened to the Lord, I heard, my people, my hand is moving swiftly and I am breathing upon the bitter places and I am turning them to sweet. There is a powerful move of my spirit right now, in this day and in this hour, to bring a great turning. There is a powerful turning of my hand to turn the places where there has been such pain, such hardship, such hard ground, such grief, and places where it has felt like many of you are fighting and walking an uphill battle, I am now declaring grace upon grace. I say unto you, my people, that there is fresh grace for you in the places that have been bitter. I am turning them sweet, and you will move into these areas with great ease. Where there has been a fight, where there has been a great pushing and toiling of the hard grounds, as I breath my grace and my spirit upon these areas, they will turn to areas of such fruitfulness. They will turn to areas of such abundance and life. For I say unto you, that the areas where the enemy has attempted to label them with bitter, I am now declaring breakthrough in these areas to bring forth life and the place of increased anointing and blossoming. I say unto you, my people, do not align with the declaration of seeing the bitter places remain, but align your faith and your decree with my decree, which is the blossoming of my hand and life that is coming forth bringing forth sweetness. My people, look not to what has been bitter, turn not your head back or down to what has been bitter, But lift up your eyes knowing where your help comes from, it comes from I, the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. And I say unto you, Oh, the help that you are seeing and will see in this hour, as you experience some of the greatest demonstrations of the divine turning, that comes by my hand and not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, explode in unprecedented ways in your midst. I am closing the door to the bitter places. There is not just a shift, there is a severing of the bitter places, by the power of my word. There is a severing of the places that have been bitter, and I say unto you, that many who have lifted up their voice to me and cried out, Lord, my season has been so bitter, I say unto you, that there is a new season upon you. That new season has begun, and it is one of recompense and one filled with the deep demonstrations of the power of my turning hand. I say unto you, that I am severing those bitter places, and I am bringing you into the blossoming place of life and recompense in me, and I am awakening you to the higher perspective. As I sever this season of bitterness, I am bringing you into a greater place of understanding. I am bringing you to a higher perspective of what I have taught you and revealed to you and placed and built within you as you have walked in the past season. I am causing you to come up higher to see from my perspective and you are coming into a time of experiencing my grace to build like you have never felt before. I say unto you, that the bitter places will no longer contain you. I say unto you, that the bitter places will no longer hold you back as you continue to align with my way, my word, and align with my truth and obey my ways. I say unto you that I am bringing you into a realm of supernatural grace to do what you never thought you could do, and you will build in new ways and new directions. 
I am causing the expansion to happen in ways you have never imagined and in places you never thought, and those places where there has been such hardship and such bitter places. I am bringing you into new spaces to build and blossom in my ways and my life in, ways you have not walked in before. I say unto you, that where many have felt like your hearts have been downcast and downtrodden for so long, I say unto you, that I am bringing you into such refreshment and life that you shall see that my river whose streams make glad the city of God. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall, God will help her at break of day, Psalm 46 verses 4 to 5. God has a constantly flowing river whose sparkling streams bring joy and delight to his people. His river flows right through the city of God Most High, into his holy dwelling places. God is in the midst of his city, secure and never shaken, Psalm 46 verses 4 to 5 TPT. I am bringing you deeper into dependence, my people, dependence upon me and I am going to demonstrate my empowerment, my miraculous provisions and my mighty hand to perform that which I have promised, in powerful ways that you have not yet seen. I am turning the impossible into possible, watch for the turn. I say unto you, watch for the turn. I am bringing forth a mighty turning. Watch as I am turning the bitter places to sweet. I am the God of recompense. Here are some verses for this word. Psalm 121 from the Amplified Bible The Lord the Keeper of Israel A Song of Ascents I will lift up my eyes to the hills of Jerusalem, from where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber briefly nor sleep soundly. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in everything that you do from this time forth and forever. Zechariah 4 verse 6 from the Amplified Bible Then he said to me, This continuous supply of oil is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel prince of Judah, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit of whom the oil is a symbol, says the Lord of hosts. Exodus 15 verses 22 to 26 from the Amplified Bible The Lord provides water. Then Moses led Israel from the Red Sea, and they went into the wilderness of Shur. They went a distance of three days about thirty-three miles in the wilderness, and found no water. Then they came to Marah, but they could not drink its waters, because they were bitter. Therefore it was named Marah Bitter. The people grew discontented and grumbled at Moses, saying, What are we going to drink? Then he cried to the Lord for help. And the Lord showed him a tree, a branch of which he threw into the waters, and the waters became sweet. There the Lord made a statute and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them, saying, If you will diligently listen and pay attention to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, and listen to his commandments, and keep foremost in your thoughts, and actively obey all his precepts and statutes, then I will not put on you any of the diseases which I have put on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. Isaiah 35 verse 4 from the Amplified Bible Say to those with an anxious and panic-stricken heart, Be strong, fear not. Indeed, your God will come with vengeance for the ungodly. The retribution of God will come, but he will save you. Here's the pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, you are my almighty, all-powerful, all-loving Father. Father, you are the God of recompense and retribution. And, as I align with your word, truth, and ways, the bitter season will be severed. You will turn the bitter places into sweet. And, the people would recognize that it only happened because your mighty hand moved. Your spirit moved in my life, turning it around. 
You are turning my life towards the life you've prepared for me even before I was in my mother's womb. And I know that your goodness, loving kindness, and mercy will follow me all the days of my life as I live set apart for your purposes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. To support the prophetic voice featured in this video, please check and follow the links in the description box below. For more words of encouragement from the heart of the Heavenly Father, please check out the Prophetic Encouragement playlist.